Okay, um, in this lecture, we will learn functions of random variables, part two, and we will cover the method of um, moment generating function. Okay. Uh, in chapter 6.5, uh, it is about the method of moment generating function, and actually it uses the uniqueness of the moment generating function, the property of uniqueness, and, and um, that's about the theorem 6.1. Um, let mxt and myt denote the moment generating functions of random variables x and y respectively. And if both moment generating functions exist and mxt is equal to myt for all values of t, then uh, x and y have the same probability distribution. Uh, this is, uh, is the uniqueness of the moment generating function. And um, actually, for the proof, mathematical proof for this one, uh, it's go beyond the level of undergraduate um, uh, mathematics. So I will skip the proof for this one. Uh, but if you are interested, um, probably uh, you, uh, you 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 come to uh, graduate school. <laughs> so so uh, if you learn. Um, probability theory class, then you will learn why, what uh, this implies. But for now, uh, we will just admit the theorem 6.1. And um, here's how we apply this theorem uh, to uh, apply the method of moment generating function. So if u is a function of random variables, y1 to yn, and um, uh, if we find moment generating function of u is this thing, now, once you get the moment generating function for you, um, it is compared with moment generating function for random variables with well-known distributions. So there's a well, uh, for well-known distributions, uh, there are known um, moment generating functions. And, and if this thing is same with one of that, so if, if you find uh, MUT is equal to MVT for all values of T. And then theorem 6.1 implies that uh, U and V have identical distributions. So you can conclude that um, your random our random variable U, which is the, the function of random variables, um, uh, it, th this distribution is um, same as uh, distribution for V. Uh, you can use moment generating function uh, that way. Okay, let's uh, try to solve example 6.10. Uh, suppose that y is normally distributed random variable with mean mu and variance sigma square, and show that uh, if we define z as y minus mu divided by sigma uh, has a standard normal distribution, a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. Okay, so uh, what we know is um, we already know uh, well-known distributions and their moment generating functions. Uh, so we are assuming that uh, we know these. So um, what is the moment generating function for normal distribution, which is e uh, to e to uh, expected value of e to Ty, uh, y follows uh, normal distribution with mean mu and sigma square, and um, and if z uh, is standard normal distribution, it would follow mean zero and uh, sigma square is one, and so um, it, uh, the moment generating function for y would be uh, expect uh, e to the t mu t mu plus uh, 1 over 2 sigma square uh, t square and uh, e to the expect, uh, expected value of e to the t z uh, standard uh, normal distribution um, if z is standard normal distribution it would be e to the uh, t square over 2 uh, so um, if we define this way, um, we would like to prove that um, uh, e to the expected value of e to the tz uh, is going to have this form. So what we want to prove is that uh, expected value of e to the uh, 
sigma y minus nu uh, t um, is this thing. Uh, so uh, let's try to solve what is this. Um, and actually, um, this is expected value of e to the um, y uh, times t over sigma and, and times e to the uh, minus mu uh, t over sigma. And, and this part, uh, this expectation is um, about the distribution of y. And so um, this part considered as constant um, in this uh, expectation. So uh, this part can go out, expected value of minus mu um, t over sigma. This part can go out and expected value of um, e to the uh, y times uh, t over sigma. And actually this part, um, since we know that this thing, uh, uh, we can put t over sigma uh, to the place of t uh, to get this thing. So, so um, this is uh, e to the minus mu t over sigma. And um, in, in here, if we put t over sigma, inside of t um, made, um, then then um, it is uh, e to the mu times t over sigma um, plus uh, 1 over 2 sigma square uh, t over sigma uh, squared and so uh, this one this part cancelled and it is e to the uh, sigma square cancelled and uh, t square over 2. And so uh, we, pro uh, we prove that um, this one is same as this one. So um, if we define z is uh, equal to y minus mu uh, divided by sigma, then it will follow standard normal distribution. Okay. Okay, let's move on to example 6.11. Let z be a normally distributed random variable with mean zero and variance one. Uh, use the method of moment generating function to find the probability distribution of z square. Uh, so uh, we want to um, find the uh, uh, expected value of e to tz, uh, tz square. Mm. And, and this is uh, since z uh, follows uh, standard normal distribution. Uh, the, the f of z is uh, 1 over square root 2 pi uh, e to the minus um, uh, 2 uh, z square. OK, and, and so um, this expectation is from minus infinity to infinity uh, e to the tz square and uh, 1 over square root of 2 pi and e to the minus uh, 2z square uh, dz. And, and this is uh, from minus infinity to infinity uh, 1 over square root of 2 pi uh, e to the minus 2 um, the z square, uh, actually it is 1 minus 2t, uh, dz. Uh, if, if you go this e here, and this one, uh, this one plus this one is, becomes that one. And then, and then from here, uh, we were going to use, um, the, the, uh, uh, integration of normal distribution is equal to one. So, um, if if uh, if integration of uh, one over square root of two pi uh, sigma uh, e to the minus uh, two sigma uh, square uh, x square 
um, dx uh, minus infinity to infinity, um, then this one should be one. So um, uh, to to make uh, this one um, and and from here uh, actually uh, we are putting sigma square as uh, sigma square is equal to uh, one over one minus two t. Okay, uh, sigma square is uh, yeah, and and also sigma square is greater than zero, so um, uh, one minus two t should be greater than zero, which is uh, two t should be less than uh, one over two. Okay, and and uh, and um, and uh, to to make this integration uh, uh, equal to one, uh, we should multiply. Uh, uh, so uh, sigma uh, sigma like we work we multiply uh, sigma like this and so uh, from here it becomes um, sigma times integration minus infinity to infinity um, one over uh, two pi sigma uh, times e to the minus um, two sigma z square E, Z. Uh, here, um, sigma square is this thing. Uh, so this part becomes one, and we have sigma here, uh, which is uh, square root of one over uh, one minus two t. Okay, uh, and and now let's look at the moment generating function table. If we have this kind of form, and uh, and from here, the the, the uh, chi square distribution here, we have uh, one minus two t, one minus two t minus um, k over two, and if k is one, uh, this is exactly this one. So um, this one is a moment generating function for chi square one. Okay, so uh, so we can conclude that uh, z square uh, it follows the chi square distribution with a degree of freedom one. Okay, uh, let's move on to theorem six point two. Let y one to y n be independent random variables with moment generating function uh, m y one t to m y n t respectively. Uh, if u is uh, y1 plus y2 plus dot 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 yn, uh, then uh, mut becomes this thing. And uh, for this one, to prove that uh, we want to find expected value of e to t, t u. And, and this is uh, expected value of e to t um, y1 plus dot 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 plus y n and actually this becomes e to expected value of e to uh, y1 t uh, plus y2 t plus dot 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 plus y uh, n t and since um, uh, and and uh, since these uh, y1 to yn are independent. Uh, this expect expectation can be written as e to e, uh, expected value of e to y1t times expected value of e to y2t uh, that, that, that expected value of e to y and t. Uh, and, and from here, expected value of e to y1t uh, this can be written as a uh, moment generating function of y1 uh, t. And the sec for second one, it is moment generating function for y2 t. And 
and the last one is uh, moment generating function for ymt okay so this is proof for theorem 6.2 uh let's move on to example 6.12 the number of customer arrivals at a checkout counter in a given interval of time processes approximately a poisson distribution um, if y1 denotes the time until the first arrival y2 denotes the time between the first and second arrival dot, 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 and yn denotes the time between the n minus one and nth arrival then it can be shown that y1 to yn are independent random variables with the density function for uh, yi given by um, this thing, which is uh, exponential uh, exponential uh, variable. Um, uh, because the yi are exponentially distribu distributed, it follows that um, eyi equals zeta, uh, that is zeta is the average time between arrivals, and find the probability density function for the waiting time from the uh, opening of the counter until the nth customer arrivals. Uh, so we want the density of u, which is a uh, sum of uh, exponential distributions. Okay, so what we want to calculate is um, expected value of, um, uh, to, to calculate this function we will use, use the method of moment generating function so um, so uh, we should um, use the moment generating function for exponential uh, distribution um, and uh, um, i will uh, show you uh, from the next slide with a moment generating function table so um, expected value of uh, e to t uh, y mm, is actually, and, and from here, the exponential uh, distribution, uh, from here, uh, actually this is taken from the uh, Wikipedia, and in here, actually lambda is one over theta. Um, uh, so, so in in our textbook, uh, we use um, parameter theta uh, and and the density function for exponential distribution is um, one over theta uh, e to the minus theta over um, x uh, for f x. And in the Wikipedia distribution or um, some other distribution, they use exponential distribution. Uh, like this, fx is lambda e to the minus lambda x. Um, and actually, they are uh, the same. They are all um, exponential distribution and, and uh, with this uh, uh, relationship. So um, so for, for our case, we are using theta. So uh, this is um, 1 minus t theta, 1 minus t theta uh, in, uh, 2 minus 1. And, and what we want is we want to calculate e to uh, t u. Um, and here u is, um, u is y, um, e to effective value of t y1 plus dot 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 plus y n. And actually, uh, this is, um, uh, e to uh, expected value of t y1 uh, uh, since they are independent uh, t y n and each of them is this thing uh, so it is uh, 1 minus t theta uh, and uh, negative n okay so this is um, mgf for uh, u and and uh, from here actually this is same as gamma distribution uh, so here um, this uh, so we can conclude that u follows uh, gamma distribution gamma um, n comma theta n comma theta 
Okay. Uh, let's move on to theorem 6.3. Uh, let y1 to yn be independent normally distributed random variables uh, with uh, expected value of yi equals mu i and variance of yi is sigma i squared. Uh, and let a1 to an be constant uh, if you define u uh, is this, uh, then, then uh, u is normally distributed random variables with uh, these and this. And here, um, here, um, a i y i a i y i uh, follows normal distribution with a i times mu um, i uh, comma a i squared um, uh, sigma i squared sigma i squared. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, derive this and and. Uh, to calculate expected value and variance of u, uh, you will going to use the previous theorem and, and moment generating function. Uh, so, um, um, uh, moment generating function for a i y i uh, t is um, expected value uh, um, e to t uh, ai mu i mm, plus 1 over 2 uh, ai square uh, sigma i square uh, t square and um, the mgf for u uh, mgf for u is by uh, using the uh, previous theorem, uh, u is this one, and uh, this is mgf for a i y i um, t times a one y one t times a one a two y two t times dot 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 and uh, a n y n t, and um, actually. If you uh, if you write down these and um, then you can uh, calculate it like this uh, e to the t uh, sum of i equals one to n uh, a i mu i mm, plus uh, one over two uh, sum of mm, a i square sigma i square T square uh, I equals one to n. Uh, okay, uh, you will going to find this thing, and and um, uh, so MGF for you uh, can be written as this thing, and uh, for this thing, um, this MGF. Uh, is the form of normal distribution, and from here the mu mu part is this one, uh, which is e of u uh, written in here, and also uh, variance part sigma square sigma square part is this thing, uh, which is v u uh, of this form. So this is proof for theorem six point three. Okay, let's move on to theorem 6.4. Uh, let y1 to yn be defined in theorem 6.3 and uh, define zi uh, by this thing. Um, so zi uh, is a standardized uh, normal distribution. And, and uh, then let um, sum of i equals to 1 to n zi square, square has a chi-square distribution with n degrees of freedom. And in previously in the example, um, z square, um, it, it follows chi square distribution with degree of freedom one. Uh, so uh, the MGF, MGF for this is uh, t z square uh, is um, 
one minus two t uh, one over uh, two minus one over two, uh, and that's what we know. And and what we want to find is um, mgf for u uh, u uh, t, which is expected value of uh, e to t um, u. Uh, which is uh, sum of i equal to 1 to n uh, z i uh, squared. And this is actually, um, since all uh, z i's are independent, we can apply the theorem uh, from the previous uh, 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 theorem, and it is um, expected value of e to t uh, z one square uh, times dot 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 the expected value of e to t z n square and each of them is uh this so it is um oh, it is one minus two t to minus k over two and so um this is actually a uh, chi square uh, chi square distribution with degrees of freedom k. Um, oh, actually, we have n, so this is n. And so, uh, well, we proved that, um, sum of n number of zi squares, um, it follows chi square distribution with n degrees of freedom. Okay. Homework for chapter 6.5 RDEs. Okay, this is end of the lecture for this week, and uh, let's see you uh, next week. Thank you.